I found out some information from Michael's PO, and I found some information on his phone. A lot has happened that I had no idea about. So I just want to talk to you about some stuff. All right, let's go. Yeah, can we go somewhere else? Yeah, let's get out of here. I need to not be alone right now in my own thoughts. I just want to talk to my best friend and hopefully, I don't know, make sense of this all. Michael's PO came by the house um, to get Michael's phone and to tell me some things. Um, I mean, thank God I feel like a female partner, but I think she has a little sympathy towards me as a woman. She basically made his PO tell me stuff about Michael. Um, I guess the truest about the day when he got arrested was that he was with somebody else. Um, he was with a girl named Megan. He was late for his PO meeting, so he picked her up from the airport. Okay, so he basically said, screw you to my family and my child to go pick up some random yeah. girl. Something else that I found out by going through his phone. Remember those two days that you were at my house and I, I didn't know where he was? You went with some bitch. You think I'm dumb? Some bitch? What are you talking where about? Where dared you go to? Give me that. He will never, ever, ever tell a freaking living soul what he did the last two days. That's just my fault. He was with Megan. So, within a week of him being home from prison after three years, instead of spending time with his three-year-old and his wife, he goes and picks up another girl. I know that they went to a hotel, so God only knows what happened there. You wanted this woman? Then you tell me. You be real about it. You don't want me? Be real about it. This has been going on for a long time. Like, does he even have a heart? I think, like, prison is, like, the place he needs to be. And, like, that's where he belongs. I literally hate him, Sarah. <laughs> oh! This is a prepaid collect call from... I have to do this. Okay. You may start the conversation now. Hello. Hey. Let me ask you something, Michael. Did you bring Megan to Niagara Falls and have sex with her? I'm gonna need you to be up front with me, you hear me? Why? Did you bring Megan to Niagara Falls when you left me for two days? Why? Did you or did you not bring her to Niagara Falls and have sex with her? Why? I'm stupid, Michael. I put it all together because she is your other woman. Who did you love, Michael? Me or her? It's not weak, my son. Come on, you can't answer that question for me. Why you keep asking me? Answer the question, or I'm gonna hang up this phone, and I'll promise you, I'll promise you, I won't answer no more, and I won't see you no more, and I won't talk to you no more, because that's how done I am. If you want to keep playing me, you want to keep putting me, running me in circles. I'm stronger than you think. Keep playing me, and I will not speak to you no more. And that is going to be my promise. Uh, Do you love Megan? You already asked me that. And I want that you answer me right now. I don't have no time to be answering these type of questions on the phone. Oh, no. See? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, my promise stands. It stands strong, and I'm sorry. I'm not actually no, I'm not sorry anymore. I'm pregnant. Again. What? Pregnant. Surprise, surprise. I'm devastated, heartbroken, scared. What does this mean? I will find a way to get a divorce while you're in there. I promise you that. And if I could go and get you surgically removed out of my head, I would. You didn't love me, you don't care about me. Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't talk to me. You don't need to talk to him anymore. He doesn't understand. <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> I just want somebody to help me. <laughs> I just want somebody to help me. You'll be fine, you're a strong girl. You know how many times I hear that from people? But nobody <laughs> understands that I, it's pain, it's pain, man. It's it's so much pain. Like, why f marry me? For what? He used you because yeah. he knew he could. He basically.
actually had a full-on relationship with this girl. I found his little tablet from the mm -hmm. email. Well, I continued to go through them. I the saw a video of Megan <laughs> herself, along with me, mixed in with our child, you know, the naked picture next to our daughter, you know how that goes. And um, she's engaged with this man. Engaged? Apparently. No. She has been out there looking at wedding dresses and, and setting up venues. Oh my god. Well, she's not the only one that's been venue shopping. She's not the only one that thinks they're getting married. <laughs> they never was a girl to have a dream of a wedding, but I wanted to have a ceremony with my husband and do all the sorts of things that we weren't able to do when we got married.